Jesus, there's so many people in heaven. How the f am I ever gonna find my? Hey, Toots, watch it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Anthony? Uh, Molly, I, I found you. It, uh, you know what? I'm gonna consider that a big streak of luck right there. Yeah, I'll say it. Uh, I'm sorry, did you call me Toots? Ow. Anthony, I know we ain't seen each other in a long, long time because you went to hell and I came up here. But you know very well how I feel about being called Toots and other things. How many times have I told you never to call me Toots? Molly, please. Oh, I swear, even though you swing down the direction with other men, all you men are the same. You want to address me as Toots. Toots of all the things, Anthony. Molly. Please don't do this argument with me again. I am sorry I called you toots, all right? From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry with every fiber of my being. Apology accepted. Thank you. I did not want to hear that entire rant again. How have you been, sister? Well, I've been well, you know. I've been up in here, up in heaven, you know. I just, how did you get here? Anyway, I heard you sold your soul to a demon overlord. I, I, I did, but uh, <laughs> God helped me out. I'm not sure if you mean that as a phrase or if you meant he actually... No, I, I mean he took care of the whole thing. He, he's, he's the reason why I'm up here. Oh, that's just like him. So good to know that he finally decided to do something about you. You know, the whole family's been kind of concerned. I mean, obviously, Arachnus isn't up here. You know, I don't think he's ever going to come up here. Probably not, but we're not going to judge. However, me and Ma and Dad, you know, we... I mean, goodness, Anthony, we've been watching everything you've been doing. Of all the demon overlords you could have sold your soul to, why did you have to choose the one that just... Uh, a moth of everything? Molly, please. He tricked me, all right? I didn't think things were gonna go so... Oh, and don't even get me started on how terrible his writing is. I mean, I don't even think he's actually set foot in a studio. All the dialogue he had you say with those other guys, I mean... Goodness me, I could write something better in my sleep. Oh, it's Molly. Molly, please. And I swear, every time, Ma would just always go back. You know, if Anthony would just sit there and maybe play with them a little, they would treat him a little better. You can't be right. Ma did not say that, did she? I swear, she thought that you were just an amateur the whole time, even though you're apparently a professional. So you guys were watching me the whole time? I mean, we wanted to check in on you on what you were currently doing. I mean, excuse us for not knowing what specific time your schedule was. I swear to you, Dad really wanted to get down there and show those boys how it's done. You're joking on that last one, right? For the most part, yeah, I'm with you on that one. Oh, thank God. And, uh, you, you were joking about Ma, right? No. Mama! Oh, no. And thus your tour ends with me, my darling little niece. Of course, I'm quite glad you saved the, uh, best for last. Yeah, um, uh, Charlie, sweetheart, uh, I noticed that you're <laughs> by yourself. I saw Jesus with you. Where's, uh, where are Jesus and Vaggie? Oh, well, we saw uh, Loot kind of flying sneakily past us to the estate, back to where Michael was, and yeah, me, Jesus, and Michael all thought that it would be a good idea if Vaggy and Loot kind of put their differences aside and tried to, you know, smooth things over. And I can only imagine just how devastatingly bad that went. <laughs> all right, Gabriel, let's cut Charlie a little bit of slack here. Charlie, what exactly is happening right now? Jesus is trying to help Michael get uh, Vaggy off of his face and loot off of his legs. Ah, told you. Although I must say, I imagine that Michael is absolutely happy that they're finally getting along and getting closer to him. He's getting two wins today. I think he's doing great. And speaking of great, Gabriel, how have you been? Oh, I am doing splendid, Lucifer. Things have been going so great here. You know, I just... I'm absolutely enjoying my job being a messenger, especially since right now, I haven't had to do much of anything lately. You know, Uncle Gabriel, I did hear something about you and, and something about um, mechanical people. My dear, we don't talk about that. Ever. Charlie, that's a bit of a, uh, a touchy situation there. 
Right, but I, I read somewhere that... Charlie, sweetheart, my darling niece, that's in the past. And I don't like bringing up the past, especially not that far back. Let's focus on the now, let's focus on now, okay? Um, sure, all right. Uh, so everything's been going well for you then, Gabriel? Of course they are. I have met the most wonderful guy, and I have to say he is so wonderful. You would love him, Lucy. You would absolutely love him. Is that a fact? Oh, you, you met someone? What's his, what's his name? His name is Daniel, and he treats me so, so well. I'm like a past few suitors that you may remember, Lucifer. Yep, I certainly remember a few. Your father is very protective over his little brother. He's very protective over a lot of things. Ah, oh, that just sounds just like you, Lucy. Protective over the things you love. But I, I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about Daniel at all. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting a text from him now. Everything all right, Gabriel? Mm-hmm. Everything's fine. What happened? <sighs> I'm gonna send you a picture of this f I want you to f him up big time, you understand me? Just as badly as... We're gonna have to focus on my past, we're gonna focus on the now, you're to f this one up big time. I don't care how much you do it. <sighs> Get him up! That's what I'm here for, little brother. Uh, Charlie, sweetheart, I'm gonna be away for a little bit, alright? Finding out, uh... You said you sent me the picture? Mm-hmm! Right, well, stay here with your Uncle Gabriel. He may need a lot of support right now. Uh, oh, alright. What did he do, Uncle Gabriel? Let's just say... You may be going back to hell... Without that spider friend of yours. Oh no, Angel. Um, Angel, I think you need to properly explain the situation so that my Uncle Gabriel uh, doesn't... You know, back when I was a few thousand years younger, I destroyed machined creatures left and right in the name of my father. Quite easily. You know what the difference between you and a machine is? That I, uh, that I'm not a machine? Yeah. Flesh tears a lot easier than machinery does. Get to talking, spider. <laughs> right, so, uh, I'll admit. The, the message I sent to you, uh, it, it, it was in poor taste. I'll, I'll admit to that. That big, big, big time, poor taste, that's on me. Also, I wasn't expecting it to uh, be the, the, the Gabriel of, uh, of heaven. Uh, the, I wasn't expecting you to be uh, God's messenger, if I'm being completely honest with you. That's not enough. That doesn't defend you in the slightest. Right, I'm getting to that. So, uh, long story short, I was trying to just send it to someone in general to the fact that uh, your boyfriend Daniel's technically cheating on you and he made the move first. Lucifer? Is that true, Daniel? I don't know what the f he's talking about. That's a f bullshit statement. You f know the truth there. Let me reiterate. Whole long story here. I was talking to my sister, all right? We have a nice, long conversation. I got terrified of the fact that my mother knows what I do down in hell. I'm not proud of that. Not at all. I'm questioning my life decisions. However, he came up to me. Gave me some compliments. Some very nice, non-sexually active compliments. I'll admit, it made me very weak at the knees. I hadn't been complimented like that in a very long time. I felt things I hadn't felt in a long time sure as sh took me back to his place I saw a bunch of pictures I didn't realize again that the person in the pictures that looked like you were you know 
I didn't expect you to be, again, God's messenger. Wasn't something I was expecting. So, sure, I sent you pictures in the most distasteful manner, but it was for a good reason, and I am so very sorry that you had to find out that way, and that it had to have been you specifically that has to deal with that. Lucifer, you can tell when someone's lying, right? Uh, yeah, big time. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna ask him one more time. And if he's lying, I can end him here and now. But I can go in and tell you that dear Anthony there is most certainly not lying. Okay. You are my older brother and I trust your judgment. Daniel, did you cheat on me with this not 100% innocent star named spider i feel like there was gonna be a much more harsh word there but uh angel hush right yeah sorry <clears throat> okay maybe i you know i love you 100% I mean, he's he's the one i mean he's from hell he's the one that's lying Jesus, you're squeezing hard. That's because you keep lying more and more by the second. Gabe, your call. You know what? Since you badmouth where he came from, that's where you can go. Lucifer, there's plenty of room down there, right? Slight uh, population adjustments, but we have plenty of room. Oh, f me, man. And this here, you know, this is our house that we've been staying in a, a good couple of years up here in heaven. I mean, we kind of worked hard to get this, you know. It's, it's very nice to look at. Yeah, no, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, Molly. Are you sure you and Molly ain't overcompensating a little bit? It's a good house, you know. It's got, it's got all the fundamentals. You know, good few hundred bedrooms. We worked real hard to get this, all right? Angel. Uh, finally caught up with you. Husker? Uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. How are you, uh... How are you up here? It's a long story. Uh, Malice it helped out. Oh, did he now? I'm gonna have to give him a little bit of a thank you when I get back. Molly, this is, uh... Oh, so this is the pussycat you've been talking to down there in hell. How you doing? I, uh... Am I drunk or am I seeing double? This is my twin sister. That wasn't a no, nor was that a yes. Whatever. Well, you're just in time. Ma and Dad are inside. We're gonna go in. Uh... Yeah, wait, no, hold on, Molly. I, I actually meant to ask you about that uh, earlier. You said Dad was in here? Last time I checked, Dad was down in hell. All right. You know what? I slipped up on that. That's on me. That's on me. Listen. So, yeah, I know our father is in hell. But up here in heaven... We got a new dad, alright? He's very sweet. He's a very good person. He's been doing a lot of work. He's actually the main reason why Ma was actually able to own this house. And for me to live here. There's some sort of financial trouble in heaven we don't know about. Uh... No, no, it's just a lot of competition for some of these households. I mean, just because we have a little bit of a perfect life up here doesn't mean that it's all sunshine and rainbows sometimes. Uh, okay, wait, so who exactly is this, uh, is this dad that we're supposed to suddenly have here? You'll meet him, you'll meet him. Don't worry, you'll meet him. After all these long years, I never thought I'd get to see my precious baby boy ever again. Yeah, it's good to see you too, ma. Uh, you're doing good for yourself. Oh, darling, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about me, cop Anthony. Anthony, the... Geography, come on. Ma, ma, please, please don't say nothing. She knows about what you do? <laughs> uh, how much of so? Oh, it's just awful. I mean, Anthony, come on. You could have at least just tickled that a little, you know. You, you could have done it more. Ma, ma, please. Please don't. <laughs> I can't, that's that's great. Your mother giving you advice on how to uh, <laughs> take care of men. If only if I could talk to that Valentino, I you know I could set up a much better. I could set up a much better story than he ever could. I'm just saying. 
Yeah, ma, that's great. That's wonderful. I just, I want to meet this, uh, I, I heard from Molly that we got a new dad up here. Can I meet him? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, sweetheart, come here. Meet my son, Anthony, uh, your new uh, stepson that you're going to treat better just like my daughter. Yes, I... Oh. Oh. Oh, you gotta be me. Huh. Wow, this is, uh... This is certainly something. What's the matter? You two act like you know, know each other. I'm, uh... I'm friends with his niece. Well, uh... This is insanely awkward. Who's ready for dinner, huh? All right, so go on, tell me, how was dinner, huh? It was, uh, it was really good, Ma. Absolutely delicious, as always, sweetheart. Well, I'm so glad you boys enjoyed it. I'm so glad you got to eat my cooking again, Anthony. I know it's been such a long time since Mommy cooked you any dinner. Now, how about some dessert, huh? I made some tiramisu. I'm gonna go get it right now. Does that sound nice? I think it sounds lovely. That'll, uh, that'll, that'll be great, hon. Yeah, Ma. I could, uh, really go for some dessert right now. All right, good. Molly, come with me. Help me, uh, help me get all the plates ready. All right, Ma. So you're dating my mother. I'm married to your mother. You married my Ma. Does God know? God was there. Does Charlie know? I'd rather she didn't find out. What about Lucifer? Ew, no. You treating her right? Better than your first father. Good to know. This is extremely awkward for me. I'm just letting you know that now. How do you think I feel? What's that supposed to mean? Majorly, you're the one who fucked my brother's boyfriend. There was already a whole family drama on that as soon as I got out of the hospital. I mean... You know, it didn't take that long to get out, but, I mean, crying out loud, you f***ed my brother's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was something. That was definitely something. Look, I'm gonna keep it straight with you, all right? Worst phrasing to use in front of me, not gonna lie. You know what I can mean. Uh, listen, you don't have to call me dad. Oh, no, I, I plan to, trust me. You're not gonna... Oh, trust me, Daddy. I sure am. Why, 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 why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to you? To be honest, uh, I'll keep it for real with you. You married my mother. And? I wasn't told this. You were in hell. What? And, fair point. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I forgot that for a split moment. I've been up here for a little bit. I forgot that. Yeah, excuse, excuse me. I forgot about that. How did you forget? Look, is there... Look, all I ask out of this is you don't tell Veggie or Charlie or for the love of everything, please don't tell Lucifer. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's, uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. What do you mean? Veggie, are you alright? That f got married up here. Who? My Michael got married? Who did he get married to? Angel's mother. Oh. Mmm. Michael's... Dad, you didn't tell anybody? You didn't tell me? To be fair, he didn't tell me I had a granddaughter. So, yeah. I'm sorry. <sighs> and you are... Oh, darling, Valentino, I'm, uh, I'm Anthony's mother, and, uh, this is, uh, his father. Hey, 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 I'm sorry, did you just say you're Angel? <clears throat> I mean, Anthony's mother. I most certainly indeed did. Now listen, Valentino, me and, uh, my dear husband here. That's my other question. That's the Archangel Michael. I could have sworn your husband was, uh... We don't talk about, uh, that piece of shit, all right? He's down here for a reason. I don't want anything to do with him. But, 
Me and my darling Michael here have propositions for you, okay? Simple talk, no violent manner. I mean, let's face it, you've already been hospitalized twice from what we were told. Yes, I most certainly was. Pray tell, remind me who did that. <laughs> well. If I were you, I'd point that finger somewhere else. Of course, God and Asmodeus. Bet that was fun. It was certainly an experience. Anywho, listen, uh, I'm gonna leave Michael here with you for just a second to kinda give you his proposition. Afterwards, me and you will uh, we'll talk, all right? <laughs> what are we going to talk about, uh, Michael? Let's see, uh, for, for starters, that is my entire face. Listen, I'm gonna make this just so very simple for you. If you so much has continued to anger me, my wife, or bring harm to my new darling baby boy, I will rip your moth head off and bring it to my lovely wife. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Good. I'm going to let go of your face now. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to go back home. Let me know if you need me to pick you up, okay, honey? Of course, Michael, sweetheart. Don't worry, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Valentino, let's talk shop. So what I'm getting from your notes is that you're saying that I'm going about this all wrong? Oh, darling, please, I mean, come on. Your, all of your most recent shows that you've been doing with Anthony, I mean, come on. The constant, a huge group of bandits, or mercenaries, or something. I mean, why is it gotta be a fucking gangbang every time, huh? Ma, please, I'm begging you. Anthony, Anthony, I'm working here, all right? Listen, Valentino. You can just call me Val. Oh, how nice of you. Val, listen. As a connoisseur of the fine adult arts, I just gotta tell you. The whole gang affiliated nonsense, the whole group activity, the barbaricness of it. Ugh, so, so out, uh, so played over. It's boring. I mean, you do it constantly. You realize this, right? I, I will admit I've lost a little bit of a creative touch as of late. But I mean, sinners, they, they'll jack off to anything they see. Right, of course, of course. And so will winners. But let me ask you, how many viewers have you kept? Well, numbers have, I'll admit, dwindled in the past few months. That's what I'm talking about. You're constantly playing the same. It's like watching a rerun every time, just with different color, just with different outfits. It's, it, it's gotta end. All right, what do you suggest? I've got two words for you, Val. Tender loving. Tender loving? Oh, absolutely. The ladies, especially us women, we will go crazy over tender love make it romantic build a whole romantic atmosphere make it feel like they actually love each other ma please stop and not only that don't let it be that one takes control over the other let it be mutual all right if my darling anthony's gonna be the bottom let him play with his little i am going to be taking notes of all of this I wish, I wish there was a super hell, because I don't want to be in normal hell anymore. Hey there, click here for my recommendation for you to watch, or click here for my personal favorite. This one is important, click this and don't forget to turn on the bell, so you get notified on my newest upload. Done. Thanks, here have a hug. <laughs>